Look, but first tonight, some breaking news in our losing faith eyewitness investigation. David Hammer and our partners at the Times-Picayune have shocking new information about a priest arrested for obscenity in Pearl River last week. Now, there's also a strongly worded letter from a Catholic school principal in Slidell openly criticizing the archdiocese in a separate case. Here's David with that story, and we want to warn you that some of these allegations could be disturbing to some viewers. WWL-TV and our partners at the times New Orleans Advocate have reviewed extremely disturbing statements from Pearl River Police about why they arrested Father Travis Clark last Thursday. An arrest affidavit says a person walked by Saints Peter and Paul Church the night of September 30th and saw Father Clark with two women committing obscene acts on the altar, which is clearly visible from the street. Police allege the passerby observed and had video of two women having sex with Clark while he pulled up his priest outfit uniform and bent over the altar. Police then arrived to see two women in corsets and high-heeled boots by the altar with lights set up around them as if they were filming some type of an event. Clark and the two women were arrested that night and booked on obscenity charges. Clark was also the chaplain at Pope John Paul II High School, which has been rocked by yet another scandal involving Clark's predecessor, Father Patrick Watney. Pope John Paul II High School Principal Douglas Trish did not mince words in a letter to parents this week. Trish wrote the Archdiocese failed to inform him about serious violations by Watney. The Archdiocese asked Watney to resign from the school over the summer after seeing dozens of pages of texts he sent to a student in February and again in July. But the principal told parents he had only heard rumors about the violations and didn't receive legitimate information from a reliable source until Archbishop Greg Amond called him last Friday, the same day we reported on the texts. In the letter, Trish wrote, We all find this completely unacceptable and share in your disillusionment. I wish I could say I was shocked that he denied any knowledge of it. I'm, I'm not. Bill Arata is an attorney representing the boy who received Watney's texts. He's also the father of another current student at Pope John Paul II. When you fail to communicate with the educators charged with educating our children, um, you place our children at risk. Um, I'm very disappointed in the Archdiocese. I would have expected something more. In a separate letter to parents this week, Archbishop Amond explained he didn't inform school leaders about Watney's improper texts because they were considered a, quote, priest personnel matter.